Hello my crafty friends, it's Krista here from Second Chance Creation. Long time you haven't heard from me. Um, but, you know, there are things in life that do have priority. One of them is my husband. And then there's our home and the gardens. So crafting has sort of taken the back step a little bit. And But we're back now and I've been busy <coughs> making stock for my Etsy store, which will reopen tomorrow, 23rd of November. Um, that's the Australian dates. So first of all, I'll just I'm going to do um, probably three videos or two videos. Um, the horse journal will be a separate one because it's going to be a bit longer. And then um, I'm just going to share the other two items that are going to go in my Etsy store. One that I've, ma that I've made, and one is um, an Oriental D stash. So um, without further ado, let's get into it. Um, I've made another beautiful horse journal and I've just got a thing about grey horses maybe because I used to have one myself um, again this is like faux leather and we are in reality it was a green file folder and you can actually see, still see some of the green just through here and I've highlighted it just a little bit with some um, green chalk and that's why I have ink blended the pages with the green. So again, quite a bit of um, layering here. This was um, just some craft paper. This is a true leather band from an Akruba hat that someone gifted me. The hat was no good, so she gave me all the leather band and the leather, leather strips. And of course... Um, here we go again, trying to think of it. Um, you know, this nice fabric that everyone uses. Um, a little charm of a clock that I rusted. A little black paper clip. And there's the little clock. It's actually a clock on both sides. So oh, no, it's not. It's, yeah, it's 8 o'clock there and it's 4 o'clock there. Oh, well, there you go. Um, a little black pin. Now... Here, this photo, I must first um, give recognition to Michelle from the Australian Brumby Photography, I think it's Association, um, Michelle and Ian, and um, I'm a member of their Facebook group, and she's always posting um, some beautiful Brumbies, wild Brumbies out at um, down Victoria, around the, um, mainly around. Um, Kosciuszko, Mount Kosciuszko and I've actually asked her permission because she signs a lot of her photos and I've um, asked her permission I messaged her if I could um, use some of her photos that haven't been signed in my journal and of course I was stoked when she said yes and she more than likely will purchase one as well because she liked my last one that I sold so I give credit to Michelle and also to Chrissy Phillips here from Junk Journal Junksters Down Under. Um, while she was away, she took some photos of some Brumbies through the woods and I've used one of her photos in here as well. So thank you, Chrissy. And I do believe, now just see if I can find that piece of paper that has now left me again. Even I have to, I have to mention it in the next video. It was a lady that I um, watched here on the channel of how she made these covers with um, just like tissue paper, and that, and that's how I've actually um, was game enough to try it. So okay, let's get into it. I've attached the um, so I printed some of these pictures out on the computer. Yes, I know they're not digitals, but they're my you know my photos, and um, that I actually took off the internet to be able to make this journal. I can't get hold of enough napkins. I've ordered a few to be able to do that. 
so I've put this picture onto some wax paper a little bit of corrugated cardboard just there and a bit of corrugated cardboard here and I was lucky enough to be gifted a Tim Holtz paper pad and paper dolls oh over the moon it's a couple of weeks ago so absolutely stoked so I cut out the letter H and of course I used a belt as a closure again it has two signatures and the Midori in the middle so you can insert some more um, pages if you wish it's PVA glued X amount of layers and stitched right around and of course it also has those little metal book corners alright as you can see it's the dressmate tissue pattern paper that I used and let's venture in and see and I'm going to call this journal where is Byron and um, quite funnily I actually put that on Facebook where is Byron and someone said it's in New South Wales and I said nope the wrong Byron um, the story is Byron is a Brumby and everyone's looking for Byron so let's see if we can find him does he look like this we don't know so let's venture in again um, I've made it so that it's you know quite rustic inside I've made a little leather um, loop to hold the pen um, bookkeeper's note to see and this is the story about the horse and this is actually about English the England's war horses very interesting so here are the pages as you can see of ink blended them quite heavily here is um, one of the horses now I'm not sure if this one was one of Chrissy's or not um, I know I've got one definitely of Chrissy's in there but I wasn't sure whether this is one and this is all very heavy coffee dyed paper and some of the tags and the name Byron and this was on the leather loop leather strap of the Akuba hat and I just had to cut that out and because um, the actual leather had a little bit of gold in it so I've put in a little gold braid and little bits of gold um, uh, beads throughout just to um, a couple of splashes so it has two signatures each, each signature has 10 pages so you're looking at um, 80 sides all up now I do believe this is one of Michelle's um, pictures that I printed out and just made that little flip and of course the belt the um, strap around the hat had a Kubra on it but of course I can't use the word so I used as um, the little leather tabs with some rustic I'll just see if I can get in there rustic safety pin rusted safety pin I should say and popped in some ba uh, beads now the idea of this I mean everyone's been doing it but I was watching Angie from Mountain Girl Studio and um, I thought what a cool idea so um, yeah so I've used it in this journal so thank you Angie this is just from Pinterest um, little envelopes while I was away was at my sister-in-law Sue's um, a f oh I better move it away did you see that last photo probably not and that's just a flip up sorry ladies it's really hot here today 39 um, yes yeah, so my sister had these envelopes and um, for the school so when they wanted photos they put their name and money in this so she had lots of them and um, she doesn't do them that many anymore she's sort of partly retired so of course I got quite a few goodies off her so um, here's a little cash receipt that I um, a cash petty cash docket and I just popped it on there did a bit of um, stamping this was out of a magazine I sort of made it like a little um, postage stamp inside is some more of those cash receipts and you can journal on okay 
and I've just popped on some really nice wool in this one um, I do believe this might be one of Michelle's photo and I think this horse is called pale face um, correct me if I'm wrong Michelle a strip of wax paper that I um, took off but look at all the beautiful colouring here's another photo of the um, horses in the woods from Mount Kosciuszko um, from Michelle the centre of the signature is an envelope and I've kept it as is I've made these um, tags, coffee dyed tags and I've just put them together with a brad and a little do um, um, the centre of a doily and here I decoupaged uh, one of the napkins that I got hold of a couple of weeks ago here's a flip up of this amazing fabric horse galore and this is um, part of the belly band on the other side and you can probably just use it as a tuck as well here's the belly band this one here I wasn't going to use it look at them fighting okay territorial but because it's just on coffee dyed paper I thought well you know you might be able to want to jot some notes on that so I thought I'd pop it in there this is the other end of the envelope and I've just popped a little eyelet and a bulb pin there's another tuck spot just here and I've just popped this um, picture of a horse of a stallion by the look of it or a mare and um, I'm not sure if that was Michelle's or not because I got a few off Pinterest as well this one is is from Chrissy from Chrissy Chrissy Phillips from Junk Journal Junksters Down Under she spotted some wild brumbies in the woods so thank you Chrissy for allowing me to use this and just a couple of tags in here this is of a um, children's book and horse tails this is out of a magazine as well use various papers out of a children's book and just some scrap paper to journal on now we're coming to the center and this is the Midori style with the elastic and I've popped eyelets in there um, just to make it nice and secure for the elastic here's a CD um, or DVD envelope and I've left it em empty this time but I've popped in a little picture of mum and her foal to see and then on here I've just popped on a little button with a bit of hessian or burlap so you can pop in your um, cheesecloth there it is I've just got the name cheesecloth there you go cheesecloth oh geez I tell you um, so you can pop in your own photo okay and then on the back there's another horse so we're still looking for Byron and this is a file folder and I just um, coffee dyed that as well here's the other side of the napkin and these are just pa pages that you can um, you know take out if you wish and um, this is from compliments of um, the Brumby photog Michelle photography thank you Brumby's from Comment Kosciuszko um, this was some sort of an invoice and I actually printed it out on this um, I photocopied it, someone gifted it to me and I photocopied it and printed it out on this brown paper and this is the other side of the file folder aren't they beautiful so they're still they're still looking for Byron now here is Byron just gone wild um, a nice big envelope and it's actually it's got a little magnet but it's got a magnetic closure and that's just um, some pages out of a book and they just pop in there and it's yep corrugated cardboard bit of lace a map and just one of these label cutouts some more corrugated cardboard here as well and then on the other side I've made it into a tuck and um, I do believe maybe Pinterest I can't remember isn't that gorgeous and I've just popped a map on the back of it so that you can just hang on to that and just pop it back in there another beautiful um, horse there still looking for Byron 
and they're still looking for barn this is a black and white photo it's beautiful another tab here's a little cl a cluster envelope and uh, this is from my um, children's book how oh, did I you probably didn't see that now there's a black and white photo sorry ladies I've there it is there's the horse And this is satisfied with the efforts she folded up the piece of skin. I think it was a cowboy and Indian book that I got hold of. And I made a ticket with a bit more cheesecloth. Little um, horse uh, picture that I cut out. And here is one of my little envelopes. I'll just see if I can take this in a little bit for you so you can see. And of course in there I had to fussy cut out this tiny, tiny little horse, okay. And then I've just popped in a couple of coffee dye tags in there. I was given all these tags, they're actually big price tags, and oh, I was thrilled. I thought, yes, thank you. On the back I've made a tuck spot. Now I've put some um, cardstock in here to line the envelope just to strengthen it. And when I fold it over, I use it as a tuck spot. Okay. Wax paper. This will be interesting for you, like for everyone. This is the Brumby from Mount Kosciuszko. I do, and it is pale face. And uh, strip off the wax paper, which was scrap. Now I'm going to give you a very close. To show you this photo. This photo was taken. Oh, first of all, here's another one of my sister-in-law's envelopes. And it's got photographer in there, but her name, of course, is um, hidden. And this was taken about maybe five, six years ago. We were working um, near Tamworth. I think it's called the John Darren Woolshed. And they used to have the Clydesdale horses, about four or five of them. And one of them was named Rosie. And these photographers were staying there and they wanted to do some nighttime black and white shots. And guess who's the star? Rosie and me. <laughs> She's absolutely beautiful. All horses have passed away now because they were in their 20s. And But beautiful, beautiful creatures. I had the great time. I had five kilo carrot bag. And uh, yeah, it was pretty well gone by the time we finished the photo session. Um, again, one of my rusty um, paper clips inside we have another little tag and you can journal on the back of that when it's zoom back out again and that just pops in there and the tag just basically holds it closed and that sort of gives you an indication where those envelopes are where's the other one oh there it is okay we've finished with that um out of a mag uh no pinterest i got this one and I gessoed it a little bit. It was pretty bright. Did a bit of stamping. Here I had some scraps of flying around, so I decided to um, make a couple little flip ups and just sew it in a glued envelope. And in here, this is from my children's book page, gessoed it a little bit. And here, where is Byron? See, they're all looking for Byron. And um, there's Mum and a foal. Here's pale face, close up. Isn't he gorgeous? Isn't he a beautiful Bumby? Beautiful stallion. Thank you, Michelle, for allowing me to use those photos. I just love how these pages turn out. Um, Pinterest. And it's a tuck. Okay. On here, I've used some more of the leather strap. That was around the um, hat, a Kuba hat. And I had a piece of belt that was laying around. And I used the buckle part of it. On music paper. And these are the Brumbies, Mount Kosciuszko. Are they gorgeous? And then some more of these tags. Now when I coffee dyed these, I actually coffee dyed them and dry them in the car oops sorry ladies 
um, I coffee dyed these with the um, string around to give it that pattern and because it was so windy I couldn't even put them in the breezeway here I've popped the trays in the car uh, no I did them while I was away sorry my apologies and my brother didn't have the space so I've popped them in my car and of course the car got hot and it baked them and I've cut the strings off because they're a bit long but they left some really cool marks eh? so that's what goes in here a little bit more stamping this one here um, it a, was a rocking horse but I took the rocker part off um, this was still gifted to me <coughs> by Grace from Nimble Fingers and um, yes yeah, so thank you and then of course on the other side it's come through as well like I thought that was pretty cool it's the other end of the envelope and look at this little cootie it's a Pinterest in the snow and there's mum and dad and it's an index card and I've made it into a little booklet and that just pops in there another tab a bit more stamping napkin and look at this tiny horse I mean I'm sure the gods must think I'm crazy fussy cutting these out I think it's about a centimetre I think it's about oh no two, two centimetres that's big enough by two that's okay but tiny I had to be careful not to cut its legs things we do for journals so we're still looking for Byron and there he is. He's found his home. He's a handled Brumby. And um, he's now back on the farm watching the sunset. Isn't that just gorgeous? And that's a tuck. And there's another decoupage. And on the back is another a stamp tag. And I had this little scenery. Can you see that? with the trees and the paddock and I thought that was so cute so I've just popped that on the tag and just goes behind my label here cloth label and in the back I know it's white it's not coffee dyed I was going to chuck it all in my solution I thought I better not but it's a pad you know so um, just tucks in here out of the way minding its own business so there we go so really enjoy making these journals I've made a few covers now and I'm just going to make different themes. Not all horses, but um, I just like, just, just totally enjoy them. So what did I say? They are, six. this one is six, in, six inches wide and eight and a half long. And you can have it, you know, the belt like this if you wish, or like this. I don't like to cover up the picture. So I've decided, with, especially with these sort of journals, when you've got a beautiful um, picture on the front, you really don't want to cover it up. And you don't have to always undo the buckle. Um, not necessary. Just like that. So, let me know of your thoughts. Love it. I've um, got a couple of themes with these horses, but I want to make something else after. Just I've got to build up my stock and also, um, yeah, just something different. So, anyway, I hope you are all safe and well. Um, for those that are getting the winter in internationally, stay warm. For those of us that are sweltering here in Australia, stay cool. Um, plenty of ice water. The beer will come later on when I'm having my dinner, but it's ice water during the day. Until next time, now this will be available on my Etsy. You might see this video early, but it won't be in Etsy till tomorrow. So um, until then, thanks for watching and see you in the next video. Bye.